పని తెగింది Hey, it's the birthday boy. Happy birthday, Guo Yang. What love? How old are you? I'm 25. Um, it was so uh, good. It feels good? Yeah. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. Uh, and uh, tell me about your neighborhood yeah. here. Like the typical Beijing buildings? Yeah, what do you think of this neighborhood? Quiet. Quiet? Seems pretty busy. Yeah, but when people, Chinese, when Chinese people come back to their home, and they just stay there and watch TV every day because the daylight sucks and they want to have peaceful time at night. They like to relax on Sunday, don't they? Yeah. And this is the end of Beijing winter. Yeah. When does the winter go until in Beijing? I don't know. Probably uh, from... Uh, November to the February. November to February. Yeah. That's pretty good. Fengtai district. Fengtai district. Yeah. How old are these buildings? 80s? 70s? Definitely older than me. Definitely older than you, so at least 25 years old. Yeah. Look at those ones. Why do you say that? Because you know, saw the poor laborers. Poor people don't live at this uh, district. Because it's uh, some uh, southern western Beijing. Yeah. Is it expensive to live over here? No. I wish you can take some uh, wiggle play off the train. Yeah, sometimes the train comes out over there. Yeah. I've seen that. Parking railway track. That train goes to your hometown? Yeah. What's uh what's your hometown? There. <laughs> it's over there. Yeah. What's it, what do you call it? It's the Shi Jia Zhuang. Shi Jia Zhuang. And uh Shi means uh rock. Like a piece of rock. Yep. And the Jia means home, mm. right? You mm. know that. Yes. And Zhuang is a town. So my hometown is a rock hometown. The home of rock. <laughs> yeah. In Beijing. How come you don't have a pigeon collection like those guys over there? You ever con you ever consider a pigeon collection? Got that? Mm. Mountains, green mountains. How do you Shan? Liu Shan? Green mountain? Lu Shan. Lu Shan. That's uh, quite a bag of peanuts you got there, Guoyang. Yeah. Do you eat a lot of peanuts? That's the gift from my grandma. Oh, village. A gift from Guoyang's grandma. What's your grandmother's name? I already don't know. You don't know your grandma's name? Yeah, you no. do. I don't know. Sure. Something Guo. Guo. Yes, I don't know her family name. Mm. Probably sure. Or sure. Yeah, I only know her family name. Yeah. But. You know, China, the old Chinese wife when they married with guy. Yeah. His family name changed with the yeah. guy. Yeah. Mm. And uh, we'll have a name no more. Just uh, maybe Madame Guo. Yeah, Madame Guo. Yeah. Well, as long as she's sending you a bag of peanuts on your birthday, you're doing pretty good. No, it's who cares what her name is? <laughs> Some gifts. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, that's very sweet. She knows that I love drinking beer, so some peanuts should be good. Peanuts and beer? Yes, yeah, it's humble. It looks like Homer Simpson. It's the universal elements. Yes. And uh, who gave you the, the flowers? My mom. Oh. Because my Mama. cousin just went here and uh, took a picture with me. 
that's your uh, new wife. Yeah, new wife. You look like a Chinese pop artist. Uh, Mondo pop. That's like a very nice. <laughs> I gotta get a. When did you? When was? How old were you when you first heard the band Nirvana? I think should be eleven or ten. Ten or eleven. Yeah. And uh, before I really loved like some old school punk. Yeah. That sounds like a song, you know. It's not like a piece of rock. But they were they playing uh, Nirvana on the radio in in China and uh, when when you discovered them. It was not on radio because by that time radio was just like that. Yeah. Nobody listened to radio, but I definitely saw them a couple of times on TV. Yeah. You know, just for news. News. So Nirvana was big news in China. No, just uh, just uh, just a little pissed off news, and uh, after all that fucking entertaining bullshit. Yeah. You know. You're right. It was like a slap. Just hit. like a fucking clip from Western world. What are you going to do with the rest of your birthday? Finish eating, take a shower, then go to this bar called Fate, right? Mm. Remember that? Yeah, see. Fate. Fate. There's like a, like a bongo or jamming, like a cashew jamming. I'm pretty sure Daniel will enjoy that. Yeah, bongo jamming at sea. Yeah. Take every little piece of my herb now, baby. 